Well, let me congratulate uh, Coach Brown and his team. He's done a terrific job. They played really well. I thought uh, late in the game they did some uh, uh, really good things. Number one, they rebounded the ball well. Uh, two, they passed the ball uh, very well. They found the open man. Uh, I thought uh, Nick Moore hit a big three, and then I thought uh, Nick Russell's uh, basket when the shot clock was running down to less than uh, five. We went under a screen. I thought those were uh, big baskets, and they made some uh, uh, big free throws uh, down the stretch. Disappointing, uh, disappointing loss uh, for us. We just got to go back and get better. How tough was their internal defense, especially in the second half? It seemed like they were contesting a lot of shots when you tried to go inside. Well, they're good. Uh, I mean, they, they're, they're good around the basket. They're, they're, they're uh, fundamentally sound. Uh, they do a good job of getting on the high side of the ball. Uh, they've got great weak side defense. Uh, they have the ability to block shots. They have good timing. Uh, and uh, we got to be tougher. We can't go up soft. We've got to be stronger. you got a couple of fouls on... You got a couple of fouls on Marcus Kennedy by, I don't know, six or eight minutes in, which had happened in a couple of their other games. Was that part of your approach, trying to get really, him in we, foul we, trouble? We like to play through Tayshawn. It just happened that he was guarding him. We like to play through Tayshawn. We want to throw the ball in there. We didn't specifically say we were going to go right at, uh, uh, at him. Uh, and, uh, you know, we're just fortunate to get a couple of uh, fouls. But uh, we, we like to try to throw the ball in with Tayshawn when we can. James, what can you do to get the guys tougher? We just got to keep practicing, and uh, we got to be physical in practice. We got to be mentally uh, and physically tough, and then uh, we, we got to be tough in the game. Uh, go with the hold strong. We got to finish uh, around the basket, and uh, got to continue to stay in that weight room. What have you got from Morris from a leadership standpoint this season so far? Brandon's kind of a quiet guy. He's a, he's a hard worker, and uh, uh, you know he he wants to. He wants to do everything you ask him uh, to do. He's not a vocal uh, leader. He leads more by example. Uh, and uh, you know, he tries to do everything that uh, uh, that we ask him to do. And uh, uh, because of that, he puts a lot of pressure on himself to, to do well. But uh, he, he's been a good example. He talks to the uh, younger guys, and uh, he's made some big shots for us. But James, you guys have been out rebounded, I think, by 12 last game, 16 tonight. Uh, is there an explanation for that? You know, that, that's a, something that was a big key for us going into the game. It always is. Uh, for us, uh, and I thought at times tonight, you know, our defense was really, really good. But you've got to complement your defense with defensive board play. We gave up uh, uh, seven offensive rebounds in the first half, seven in the second half, and some of them very key uh, offensive rebounds. Uh, uh, we got to do a better job uh, boxing out. We've got to do a better job being physical, and we've got to do a better job team rebounding, getting chasing down long rebounds, getting the 50 50 ball. But it's been a concern because when you look at points off turnovers, points off of uh, uh, rebounds, that, that's kind of been a thorn in our side, those two areas. We took better care of the ball tonight. We've got a big lift from Stickers tonight off the bench. Uh, J Rod really shoots the ball well uh, for us. Uh, you know, the, the, the thing that jumped out to me when you look at the uh, Stat sheet was every player that uh, SMU played got a rebound. Every player that they played got a rebound, and we got guys playing quite a few minutes that didn't rebound. We got we got to value more to our game than just the offensive end. Uh, there's more on that stat line, and uh, we got to fill up more spaces than just uh, shots. And because and, you know, we only shoot 39 percent uh, tonight, and so. Uh, there's a reason why 50% is always magical, but uh, if you can hold the other team to 30, then that means you're, you're, you're way ahead of the game. SMU had just one player who played who got single-digit minutes tonight, and I guess he's coming back from an injury uh, a few weeks ago. Is it harder to prepare for a team that spreads the minutes around that evenly rather than a team that leans no, no, more no, heavily no, on starters? No, we, we just try to, we try to understand what they're trying to do and what the strengths are of the individual players, and, and we play a lot of guys uh, as well, uh, and I think what you're trying to do is just get, uh, you know, contributions. Try not to let them get the ball in certain areas. I, I thought we let the ball get fed to the uh, uh, the elbow too much tonight. I thought they really hurt us on some elbow feeds. Uh, you got got to force that pass higher, uh, but they did a good job with their entry passes, and uh, you know they play a lot of guys, and that's the reason I mentioned that rebound strat. They they come in and contribute. May not be on the offensive. Uh, uh, and they may get two, four, but they're going to contribute in some way. And uh, uh, I, I admire that out of teams when they come in and uh, get
give you something uh, defensively or rebounding. Hey James, after they lost up in Philly on uh, Sunday and the way they did lose, was the real uh, part of you that had some dread coming in here? Absolutely not. No, because I'm more concerned about what we're going to do. We can't control, you know, who, who, just like when we went to uh, Cincinnati, they had gotten beaten here. Uh, so you have no control over that. Uh, you know, I was really impressed. <coughs> a beautiful facility. They've done a marvelous job. Uh, you know, I've been here uh, a lot of years, both at Arkansas and at Tech, uh, and I always thought that uh, Moody was a really a hard place to play, and they've just done a terrific job uh, of renovating it. And uh, the uh, the students are terrific. The fans are. It's a it's a great atmosphere. Uh, but you you know you. you Every place you go in our league is going to have a good atmosphere in most situations, uh, and, and that's a great advantage. But uh, having said that, you can't worry about, well, how they're going to feel after the Temple game. You, you have to control what you control and get ready to play the game. And uh, we just uh, try to prepare our guys for everybody's A game. You've got to take their best shot. You've had a chance to see them play now twice this season. What do you think about SMU's chances of maybe making some noise in the tournament? I think they're very good. When you have a point guard uh, that can control the game and make big shots and make big decisions uh, like Nick. And I think, you know, you might not think Nick Russell is a, is a true point, but he's a very smart passer. Uh, he, he's a, he's a, uh, a player that plays within himself. He doesn't try to do too much. He makes smart plays. He's got good size. Uh, he's, uh, uh, you know, played in uh, – in some big games uh, before he got here and, and since he uh, has, has gotten here and uh, I think they, I think they've done a great job and uh, they, they'll uh, this league is uh, terrific I think this league will do uh, do extremely well in the tournament whoever gets in